All right, hey guys, we are back for another Golf Clash tutorial video here. And uh, switching up my bag a little bit. Um, we are going to uh, use Thor's hammer here just to uh, kind of show people maybe a different club. Maybe they don't have Apocalypse. Um, you know, you can still do what I'm about to do um, with either a Pac or Thor. Um, even aside from that, probably get away with quarterback if you really needed to but uh, we are going to um, I mentioned this yesterday be going for the layup shot here so uh, what's in my shop is it Thorn? no that is though um, so what we're going to do is we are going to lay up and go left and go for a straight downwind pitch Keep it in mind that, uh, you know, you can lay up with really anything. Uh, it's more about putting it in play than anything. And uh, what I'm going to do is, you know, just take Thor because I took uh, a puck yesterday. And, uh, you know, obviously if I can do something lengthwise with Thorn or Thor, then I'm obviously going to be able to do it with Apocalypse, no question. So, um, you know, just use kind of this distance thing as just kind of, uh, you know, a guideline for you. And uh, if you see me hit it to a certain spot, just keep in mind, you know, a puck might go a little bit farther. My distance is, what, 232 or 231, one or the other. And uh, Apocalypse, especially a 5, is um, 240. Uh, extra mile would be 236, and uh, Thor's hammer or rock would be 226. You could still technically get away with it with a full powered rock here if you had a rock eight, for example. But uh, you know, aside from you know distance, the primary concern is going to be putting it out in the middle of the fairway and focusing on your accuracy. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put full top spin on and just focus on kind of setting my power based off of uh, you know where I wanna stop the ball and just try to take off some power if I can to kind of uh, focus on precision. So here you're going to see that I'm going to very much just put straight topspin and try to focus on a landing zone that is going to shoot me right through the center but also favor the right side. So if I aim down the center here and then play proper wind play, it's actually going to push my ball over towards the right of the fairway because it's a crosswind. So 1.7-ish per ring, we're talking about uh, four some rings here so you're gonna see me go about four and a half and uh, just kind of hold the line I'm gonna shoot and there I get perfect ball and we should see that the ball shoots up here towards the uh, opening here and just kind of shoots towards this right side you do want to favor the right half of this fairway and just keep in mind that uh, kind of getting up in there through that neck you can see even with a Thor's hammer I don't even need to add any power which means that if you were to go rock QB method, you could do the, do so just as easily. Uh, you just might need to go into some power because, uh, for example, quarterback is probably 12 yards shorter than that, and I have roughly 12 yards of power. So basically what I'm saying is a full quarterback would be essentially equivalent to what I just did. And since quarterback is... Uh, 100 accuracy if you have a, a weaker driver like uh, an extra mile accuracy wise um, you know that might be a better option for you to get out to the same similar spot but you can see what I'm going to basically focus on here is putting about one side spin and full back spin on the ball aside from that I'm going to set up and just kind of go very close to the pin kind of like this and put it out to the side. Keep it in mind that uh, you know my ball might compress a bit. So 
that's one of the biggest reasons that I'm, you know, putting it so tight to the hole before my adjustment. Aside from that, we're going to pretty much do max spot on here. So almost five rings. And great ball's going to cost me. So unfortunately, I was getting a little bit of on tight on time, and you're going to see it shoot out to the right of the hole. But you have the general gist of what I needed to do there. And you can see firsthand that, did you see how I kept the, the ball compressed very close to the hole? And then after I actually went the full ring adjustment, which is about four and a half in that situation, that the ball still was way behind the hole and came back to the hole. So I do want you guys to be very aware of that uh, for your guys' uh, win play. But uh, as you can see, you know, with a perfect ball and if, you know, you're not talking on stream and can actually focus on the shot, uh, you know, your time management might be a little bit better. And, uh, you know, you shouldn't be forcing the edge of, edge of the shot clock where I can't even let it go for, you know, I had to do it uh, coming in from the left and I always more comfortably come in from the right. So ideally, you know, I'm not rushing that shot quite that much. But there you can see that, uh, you know, it's going to be a relatively safe approach type shot. Uh, just keep in mind that, uh, you know, it's not going to be a guaranteed eagle. Even with perfect ball, you know, I might have, you know, just missed on the left edge. It might have been gone in. It's, it's really hard to tell. Just keep in mind that you do have to bend it around the pin, so you need some kind of side spin to do so. <clears throat> and also keep in mind that, uh, you know, that ball guide is going to uh, expand and, you uh, you know, you really got to almost play it. I play it level with the hole and then play proper wind play. And it, it essentially balances itself out perfectly. So that's what you'll see me do for my shot. And I should just forfeit. Jeez. So what we're going to do here is about five backspin. Um, aside from that, we will almost play max ring adjustment. I'm probably only going to go eight rings. I wonder if I can do that in one swoop. It looks like I can. You go eight rings here. See how that looks. Oh my goodness. So I started off really strong this morning. Ah, it was nine rings. I started off really strong this morning with my perfect ball timing. And ever since it's been absolute garbage. Uh, I, I don't know why I can't hit a perfect ball right now, but, uh, you know, it should come back hopefully sometime in this round, I would assume. But uh, I've been going through a dry spell about the last four or five holes where just nothing is going perfect except for uh, I had a thorn pitch on eight and some, some drives on nine um, in my last round. But aside from that, uh, you know, I went through about a five-hole stretch where I could not hit a perfect ball on anything so but anyway um, just hang in there and uh, catch you guys on um, hole number uh, two here momentarily and be on the lookout for a last revision tomorrow for expert as well so good luck guys and uh, catch you guys later